Mobile One. So this is the idiot hood. It's designed so that when you open the real hood of the vehicle, it's a secondary hood to convince idiots that there's no moving parts and to keep them at bay. What were you saying? You know, hands off? Yeah, don't, don't, don't touch You're not qualified. You don't to touch it. You're not qualified. You are not qualified. <laughs> <laughs> so the bad thing is, is that it traps a lot of heat in the top. It makes diagnostic times instead of something being real simple like, oh, it's this. You know, you got to take off this fastener, that fastener, Actually, all the rest. This one's probably just on rubber. This one probably pops off the grommets but I'm talking the idiot hood in general as a concept but, so anyway we're talking about trapping heat yeah, and you were saying the heat and then you end up uh, the vacuum lines don't last very long you have issues with the vacuum lines and a lot of the plastic components deteriorate very quickly and break and you end up having to replace them very early and the wiring harnesses they heat up wiring harnesses and what car were you saying particularly uh, had an issue with the that Lamborghini Aventador the Aventador the does that catches on fire a lot too that's actually an issue with the the fuel event the fuel evap releases right behind the driver's side tail light, and when guys sit there revving it and shooting with the, the brakes <laughs> on, <laughs> your fumes are going right in that area, and that's where it catches fire. Wow! Really yeah. that. That's they the also stylish looking fire. You these, looking fire. You these these also get super brittle when it's cold. Uh -huh. So when you grab it in the wrong spot, you usually only take about ten percent of it with you. Aren't on you a lot like of that? the Subarus, the H6 like engines, you get really cold try to grab you in certain spots. Or is that just because you're unusually strong? I did go to the gym one time. So, careful, you're gonna hurt yourself.